Hey, Taurus, welcome to your general love read. Right before this, I got this like serious message that you may be dealing with some people's petty shit, okay? Um, it's their lessons, all right? Um, if you are trying to do something out of the goodness of your heart, then, you know, you just gotta let it slide, okay? So, for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive. Much of what you see here on the channel will not be traditional. Take it as it resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay, for those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you. We are a slow-growing tribe, right? Because not everybody wants to do the work. Not everybody wants to step up and work on themselves, right? They just want to be told the fluff like, oh, it's all their fault, right? We don't do that here. All right, I'm just letting you know right now, whatever spirit gives me, that is what you get. <laughs> okay, no fluff. So if you would like a personal reading, the link is down below. As a general reading, roles can be reversed. Okay, if you are in a third party, it could be their story and not your story. If you'd like to see some of the decks that I have created, if you'd like to see some of the decks that I used, those links are below. The link for karmic donations. Okay, I'm putting the link in there for the two books that are in pre-launch. They're in pre-launch for Kindle versions. Okay, if you would like the paperback, those will not launch until the launch date on the 22nd. I do not know why Amazon is missing the mark on pre-launch actual paper book backs. I don't understand. But I will send you guys a reminder, okay, on the community tab. Make sure that you are clicking on subscribe and notify so that you know when new things are coming out, okay? For the collective, all right, I feel like something with this moon phase that we just went through was very illuminated for you, okay? Could be an incoming, okay, past life soulmate connection coming in, all right? So let's go ahead and see what's going on. We're doing the old school little uh, layout here that Spirit had me do initially. And we are using our favorite old school, yeah, Crow Tarot. And now they're dropping out. Okay, we've got Five of Pentacles and Queen of Swords there. Okay, so again, like you might need to cut someone off with their petty crap, right? Don't Don't let it in. All right, so let's see what's going on here. All right, in the past. And I suddenly, my head felt hot all of a sudden. Okay, and I'm like, hmm, hot head. <laughs> interesting, Taurus. Okay, very interesting. Underneath it all, yeah, you are building up a guard. Put that last fence post in brother okay put that last fence post in so overall energy nine of cups right like you are just loving yourself these days like you're just enjoying your own company um finding happiness enjoying the moments like i feel like you are enjoying the season like you're like yes i love the holiday season right like you're just enjoying yourself. In the past, okay, I feel like you emotionally detached from someone, especially it could have been for some of you, with the new moon, you finally have said enough is enough, right? Um, but you're tired of the lessons with this person, okay? Or tired of them not getting the lessons. Current energies, We've got a crossing energy of the Six of Cups. Okay, somebody could, uh, as we're approaching winter, all right, somebody could be trying to come back around out of the cold. And in the future possibilities, we've got the Knight of Swords in reverse, right? Um, I feel like whatever it is, I don't feel like you want to hear it, right? So let's get a little more clarity here. And actually, again, like I said, I am just feeling hot-headed. I'm going to really quickly here. Okay, I'm going to go to my Nest app. And I'm going to turn down the heater. 
because when spirit starts making me hot, I really just need to <laughs> turn things down. Okay, so nine of cups, all right, <laughs> the lovers. You could, this past life soulmate, okay, could be definitely someone you have started hanging out with. You feel a very passionate connection with them. Okay, it's just this camaraderie. And, right, somebody's trying to get through your guard with the nine of wands here. Because why? They see that you're making a new start, right? Oh, no, can't have you happy and making a new start, okay? In the past, Eight of Cups. And did you hear my little bell? Ding, ding, ding. Okay. King of Wands and Eight of Wands, right? This person, every communication becomes toxic, okay? And you're like, done and done. Right? Like, there's the bell again. Okay, five of wands here. <laughs> Nine of cups. You just started working on yourself. And by working on yourself, do you see in the thoughts right here? There's Pisces. There's my Inyo Divine, my twin flame symbol. Okay, the lover symbol, divine partnership. You started working on yourself, and by doing that, you started calling in this connection. Okay. Current energy, what's crossing that? Six of Cups. We've got the Three of Pentacles, right? As soon as somebody sees you and someone else hanging out and doing well, right, they want to jump out of the grass and show up and be like, oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Let me in. Okay. And you could just be hanging out with this new person in a friendship relationship, okay? But this person does not like it at all, okay? Yeah, five of swords. This is somebody that is very, I am feeling very narcissistic, okay? Uh, very volatile, okay? Six of Cups. Yeah, they want to block this new beginning. They do not want you to have a second chance at love. Future possibilities, the crossing energy on the Knight of Swords here. Okay, Four of Pentacles. Right, you're not going to have it. You're putting up the wall. You don't want this person. You could actually be blocking them on social media. It might get to the point where you're like, no, I just, I just can't have this, right? Like, you're just so toxic. Four of wands. Ah, uh, four of swords. But I almost feel like the swords are coming in between the wands here. And again, the knight of swords. This person is not going to give up easy without a fight. Okay, you really need to know that. Underneath it, right? Do not take that. Do not take that fence post out and let them have a say. Okay? Spirit is like, just do not. Okay, let's go a little deeper here. The lovers. <laughs> Clarified by the lovers. Good golly, Taurus, okay? If this reading resonates with you, you have called in a very powerful past life soulmate very much meant for you, okay? Nine of Wands here. Yeah, Spirit's like, don't think with your uh, illogical brain here, okay? Don't let this person get away with things. You've seen their behavior. Don't let them back in. Okay, the fool. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. It is good that you are going slow with this person. They are showing me the white fire tiger. 
okay, which is a symbol of Libran energy, but also of my divine feminine with the inner child of the divine masculine sitting on its back. Okay, take it slow and gentle. All right, this is definitely a very powerful divine connection. Okay, okay, in the past, you emotionally detach, done with this person. Okay, Eight of Cups again. Yeah, this person is materialistic. They try to control everything. They want all the power. They are very toxic. But it started you on the path, okay? Death, right? Ending this opened you up to healing so you could call in what you needed, right? The Hermit. And there we have the Knight of Wands. There's the other tiger. Okay. If you want this other tiger, if you want to be connected, you've opened up your own amour inside of you. Okay. So now that you've opened up amour, and you don't know what I'm talking about, but a lot of this, this is what was written, what I channeled for the Celestial Spark book. Okay. You've opened up okay the divine connection okay three of pentacles all right somebody sees you happy and up they jump ace of pentacles right i want a new beginning i want to pull on your heartstrings okay and bring you back five of swords okay queen of pentacles crocodile tears okay this person is a master manipulator, okay, trying to bring you back home, okay, six of cups, the second chance, right, don't block your heart from this because you have been dealing with something so toxic, okay, this is coming in very balanced, sure, there's going to be lessons, okay, but don't block your heart off from this. Okay, future possibilities for pentacles. Okay, the tower, right? It's going to get bad, and you are going to have to block this person out. All right, from the past. Okay, four of swords with the knight of swords. Okay, ten of pentacles. And the magician. They may try... Right? Like if this is a marriage and you're trying to end the marriage, they may try to go big time after the money. Okay? Don't worry about it. You will be given everything that you need and everything is already within you to manifest even more. Okay? No fear. Right? This person does not want this to end. Okay, there may be children involved here. But on the other side of this, look, the happiness, everything you've wished for. Okay, so do not let this person, this toxic person, mess with you. All right, let's pull some oracle cards. Yeah, you've called in magic. You've created magic. You are working with magic. Okay. Very, very deep, powerful energy here. <laughs> and you had to go through a lot of cycles. All right. This last cycle could be ending with this full moon. Okay. You may find all of a sudden that there's an awareness between like a waking up between you and this new person of the love, right? Underneath this, look at that gentleness, right? It's growing, right? It's going to grow from this gentle, sweet energy to this mature energy. It's very, very beautiful. So just stay open to it, okay? What did this cycle from the lunar to solar eclipse do here in this connection okay 
Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, you started putting a plan together, and this is the full moon in Taurus, right? This is your heart energy. You started putting a plan together, I feel like, okay, of time to move on. All right. All right, and there's that tiger again. It's the snow leopard here, okay, self-reliance. But they're showing me teeny tiny, okay, when it's almost like um, there's parts of your inner child that have been hidden that still need this chance to heal, okay? Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shaman. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. I really love that. Okay. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. It is how others can find the message. It gives back to me and it helps spirit know if you resonate. Okay. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This was probably one of the most beautiful readings that I've done on this channel and you deserve it. All right. All right, guys. Much love. Bye.